We're definitely covering a lot of details around storage here, and you might be thinking, are there other tools that Microsoft makes available to copy files, perhaps between blob storage accounts and different accounts, uh, perhaps from your local machine to a storage account, etc. So let's uh, walk you through a little bit of a demonstration here. But to begin, you first need to go ahead and download the tool AZ Copy from the Microsoft website. So here we are on the Microsoft website, and the first thing you need to go to is the Get In Started with AZ Copy web page, which we've linked here for you as well. And this again is the command line utility that you can use to copy blobs or files to or from a storage account. Now you will notice that AZ Copy version 10 is the currently supported version. There was a version, version 8.1, and that was actually covered previously in my courses, but this is now updated to version 10. Everything we're gonna do from here on out is version 10, so make sure you get in version 10 if you're following along. And what you need to do is scroll down, you'll see download AZ copy, and you've got your Windows, your Linux, your Mac OS options here, and it's an executable file. There's nothing you need to install. What will happen is when you click this uh, download link here and click save, it will download a zip file to your machine. Uh, go ahead and open that folder. Uh, and what you'll see when you open up the zip file, in the folder inside it, there's azcopy.exe. And again, all you need to do is copy that to somewhere you can execute that from. Very quickly, if you're not too familiar on Windows and how you do environment variables, I'll show you how I've done it in my case. So if I go to my C drive and I go to AZ Copy, I created a folder called AZ Copy and I just copied that exe file straight in here. And then what I also did was change my environment variable so I can execute it from anywhere. Uh, in Windows, you can just hit the start menu and type environment. And you'll see it says edit the system environment variables. Uh, click in that and then click in environment variables at the bottom. You'll see here you have your user variables. These apply only to you on your machine and your system variables that apply to everyone. In my case, if I scroll down in system variables, you'll see a section called path. And if you click path and click edit, this is all the locations that you can execute from directly. In my case at the bottom, I've got C colon backslash AZ copy. If you want to put it in a different folder, that's absolutely fine. Uh, you can browse to that folder when you want to execute, or you can just add it to your path by clicking the new button on the top here and put it in. So if you put it in C colon temp or something, you would just put that in there wherever you basically put it in uh, and then you'll be good to go. Um, but I'm gonna cancel out of that now, cancel out here and open up a command prompt to show you how it works. And I've also saved a number of pre-filled in commands that I'm going to use throughout this demonstration. And so I've got them here in a text file. I've got AZ copy login to my tenant ID. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now you don't have to always put the tenant ID in. You can just do AZ copy login, uh, but it will go to a default tenant and you might get an error if you're not authorized in that tenant. In my case, I want to specifically log into this Azure Active Directory tenant and that's why I've got the tenant ID there. If you haven't covered Azure Active Directory already, you can jump ahead and learn more about Azure AD, but otherwise just make sure you put your tenant ID in for the tenant you're trying to log into and you will be just fine. We're then going to run through a number of other commands which I'll talk you through, but for now let's just go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna open my command prompt. And I'm gonna type in AZ copy, just to verify that I can actually grab the file and you can see that it does work. It comes up to show me that I've got available commands uh, even though I'm not in the AZ copy directory. Again, I put that in my C drive under AZ copy and there's our exe file. That's basically what's executing every time I type AZ copy. But let's go ahead and log into that tenant. So I'm gonna go grab my login command here and paste that in and that will now log in. And you'll see it says, go ahead to this page, microsoft.com slash device login. So if we browse over there, and then enter the code that's in the command prompt. So here we go, grab this code and enter it in. And that now logs me in with Azure AD authentication. You can also log in, as you'll see on that page, using 
a SAS token if you prefer, that's another option. But in my case, I'm just gonna log in with Azure AD here to keep things simple. Okay, so that's logged in. If I go back to my command prompt and we can see login succeeded. And so now the next thing we need to do is just show you the layout of the lab area I've got for this one. So in the Azure portal now, I've created two storage accounts for this. These are simple storage accounts. One is in North Central US, one is in East US 2. One is called AZ Copy Demo. The other one is called AZ Copy Demo Target, and we're going to use them for different use cases. If I click into the first one, we're going to look at AZ Copy Demo. You'll see here that it's just running on LRS storage, so locally redundant storage. It's on the standard hot tier, and it's a GPV version 2 storage account, and that's all we really need to know about it. It's just a basic GPV2 storage account that I can then copy into. If I go into the blob section of services, I can create my container, and we'll create one here, and we'll just call it test container. And we'll say private, no anonymous access for this container, and click OK. So there's our test container. And now before I can start copying files in there, there's one other thing I need to do, which is make sure I have the storage blob contributor rights assigned. So if I go to access control, and I go in here and click role assignments, and then go ahead and add a role assignment, add role assignment, and you'll see a select a role, and you can type in blob, it's probably the easiest way to get this, and you've got storage blob data contributor. Now, even though I'm a global admin, even though I'm a subscription admin, even though I created the storage account, Microsoft does now require that you specifically give access as storage blob data contributor in order to copy files into blob storage. And that's a recent change, but a very welcome one because they wanna make sure that all the data services are locked down by default and you have to explicitly give permission for them. So we do need to add this role and I'm going to go in and add myself to that role and click save and let that propagate as well. Uh, that can take up to five minutes to take effect. And while that's going on, let's go ahead and look at the files we're going to be copying over. So if I go to AZ Copy on my C drive and then go up one folder, I've got an images folder. And in there you can see I've got three images, one, two, three here. And I've got a subfolder called images subfolder. And if we go in there, you can see I've got one, two, three, four images in there as well. If I go back to my storage account, and go back to that container. So if I scroll down, go to the blob service, and then select the container, test container, I don't have anything there presently. Now I've saved all my commands, ready to go, and we're going to use this one, az copy, copy, the command uh, task action we want to take, c colon backslash images, and you can see the star there, so that indicates I want to copy everything in that directory, and I'm going to put it in az copy demo, that's our storage account, .blob .core .windows .net because I'm not using any custom domain for that storage account, and I want to put it in the test container that we've created. So let's go ahead and give that a shot in the command prompt. Okay, here I am back in my command prompt, and I'm going to paste that command in and hit enter. And we can see it's copying three files up there right now. Now you might be asking why only three? Well, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go back over to the portal and just verify those three images went across. And if we refresh our container, yep, we can see one, two, three images there. Now if we go back to our command and we simply add recursive switch to the command and hit enter, it will now go through the folder that we're copying from, look through the subfolders and copy those in as well. That's completed. If I go back to the portal, refresh, you can see I've got that images subfolder in there now, and I've got those additional images inside there as well. Well now, what if we wanna copy all of this from this blob storage and container over to the other one in the other region? Well, let's go ahead and go back. We also need to give rights to that other blob account. So we'll go back to our storage accounts. We're going to go to AZ Copy Demo Target, Identity and Access Management again, add that role assignment, click Add, Role Assignment. Remember it's blob 
contributor that you need. And I'm going to assign myself to this storage account and click save. And now there's one more catch. So even though I've got writes on the target and we know I can copy files from a local machine to a target using my Azure AD authentication, unfortunately Microsoft doesn't yet allow you to copy from the source without a SAS token using AZ copy. So what we need to do is go back again to our other storage account, select AZ copy demo, and then scroll down and select shared access signature. And we can choose all the services for now, but if you were doing this in an enterprise where you wanted to restrict, you would typically just create the SAS token for the services you need. Uh, but in my case, I don't need to worry about that. The only thing I just want to make sure of is that I do choose a time in the in the past here. So I always typically go back a day and then go ahead and generate my SAS token. And I'm not going to use any of the other settings, but just to clarify in case anyone's wondering, so this is allowed IP addresses. So this is sources that can use that SAS token. Here are our protocol options for HTTPS only or HTTPS and HTTP. And this is our signing key again, so key one or key two. And I can regenerate those keys. If I scroll back up on the left hand side, I can generate access keys in the access keys section, but obviously regenerating the key invalidates all the SAS tokens that were created with that key. Uh, but with that, we've got our SAS token, so I can copy this, which I'll grab here and paste that into my command. And we'll just scroll back and check that's okay. Yep, it added an extra question mark there, which we already had, so I'll get rid of that. And then what I also need to do is add the source container, in my case, test container forward slash, and then we get our SAS token after that. So if we scroll through the beginning, we've got AZ copy. We want to copy everything from AZ copy demo in the test container with this SAS token that we just generated, scroll all the way across, and we're copying to AZ copy demo target dot blob dot cord or windows.net in test container as well. And if you haven't already done that, you do need to create a test container in the new storage account as well. And you can do that using the command uh, AZ copy make. In my case, I can grab this command and paste that in. And we just need to change the storage account to be the target one in my case. So AZ copy make. And in the target storage account, I want to create test container, hit enter. And that is created. Now I grab my other command on the bottom here and paste that in. And let's see if it copies everything across. And that looks good. There's seven pending files. They're already copied across. And if I go to the portal, select the target storage account, scroll down and choose the blob service. And you can see we have the exact same thing now in the target account in the other region. Test container inside there. Three images here, one, two, three. And our images subfolder in here as well. And we can click into one of these just to see what it is and download that one directly. Grab that there and we should see one of our beautiful images that we used here for our demonstration. So with that, that concludes the demonstration on AZ Copy. I do encourage you to go back to the websites and just make yourself aware of the different commands and how to use them. You can click use with blobs here and scroll down and you'll see a lot of examples very similar to the ones I've just gone through here with you. Uh, how to upload an individual file, a directory, how to copy from a storage account to another. Just take note of the notes sections because there are those limitations that currently exist. As you saw when we're using Azure AD authentication, I can authenticate to copy to the target, but when I'm copying from a source storage account, I do need to use a SAS token. So make sure you're aware of SAS tokens, make sure you know how to use them, and hopefully this demonstration reinforces that for you as well. And with that, that's the end of AZ Copy.